Good morning, Gilcrest Grizzlies, and welcome to Grizzly AM, your morning news show. I am Red. And I am Kansas. Today is Thursday, March 8th, 2018. Please stand for the morning pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the news. We have one more grizzly who has read five Sunshine State books. Congratulations to Hadassah, who has picked her prize and has her picture on the wall of frame. Great reading. Today's Women's History Spotlight is on the famous aviator Amelia Earhart. Here's more information on this amazing woman. March is Women's History Month when we celebrate the achievements of amazing women. Amelia Earhart gained fame in 1928. At a time when air travel was still new and exciting, she was the first woman to be a passenger on a plane that crossed the Atlantic Ocean. People around the world celebrated her accomplishment, but Amelia did not feel she deserved the attention. I was just baggage, like a sack of potatoes, she said. Earhart had already earned her pilot's license. She wanted to fly the plane and make the trip alone. Four years later, she reached her goal. Her bravery and spirit of adventure excited people. In 1937, Earhart was ready to make her biggest and boldest trip yet, a flight around the world. It was to be a long trip with stops along the way. In June of that year, she set off for Miami, Florida, with navigator Frederick J. Noonan at her side. Sadly, the pair disappeared on July 2nd when on their way to Howland Island, a small strip of land in the Pacific Ocean. What happened to the flyers is still a mystery. The wreckage of their plane was never found. But Earhart's courage continues to inspire generations. Since the fourth grade is out on a field trip, Mr. McCann will announce the fourth grade PBS winners tomorrow with the fifth grade winners. And now it is time for the AR Corner with Mrs. Crow. Good morning, Gilcrest Grizzlies. It's a beautiful day, a little brisk outside. Perfect for snuggling up and reading, you know what I always say. Speaking of reading, we have some superhero readers here. We're going to start with some first graders. Our first one is from Miss Jackson's class with over 10 points and a comprehension average of 83%. Bay Zhao. Good job, Bay. Here is your I Love Reading pencil, because you sure do, don't you? Great job, Bay. All right, our next one from Miss Donk's class with over 25 points and a comprehension of 85%. Caitlin Allwine. Good job, Caitlin. There's your bracelet. Possum reader bracelet. All right, from Ms. Donk's class with over 25 points and an average of 94%, Alana Elliott. <laughs> Super duper. Come over here. Good job. All right, from Ms. Dunn and Mrs. Mumford's class with over 25 points, an average of 90%, Jude Campbell. <laughs> Way to go, Jude. There you go. You're sparkly. All right, from Ms. Dunn and Ms. Mumford's class, with over 25 points and an average of 93%, Colton Kinsel. Great job. Colton, whoa, you have a big, big fat book. You're only in first grade. You're going to read that book? Yeah, I already finished. Oh, you already did? Wow, that's awesome. Great job, buddy. All right, then from Miss Hall's class with over 25 points, an average of 88%, Kessia Malice. Great job, Kessia. Come over here where we can see your face. There is your bracelet. Job. All right, from Miss Hall's class with over 25 points and an average of 81%, Harper Phillips. Come on in, Harper. Good job. Oh, thanks, Harper. All right, from Miss O'Brien's class with over 25 points, an average of 82%, Brooks Bradner. 
Way to go, Brooks. There you go. From Miss O'Brien's class with over 25 points and an average of 94%, Aubrey Clark. Super job. Great job, Aubrey. From Miss O'Brien's class with over 25 points, an average of 92%, Ava Uccino. Great job, Ava. There you go. All right, from Miss O'Brien's class with over 25 points and an average of 89%, Carson Hugdall. Good job, Carson. Another hand. Thanks, Tommy. Messed that one up. All right, from Miss Thomas's class with over 25 points, an average of 85%. Come on over here, Tristan Kosh. Yeah. All right, I got it. Good job, Tristan. There's your bracelet. Thanks. Yeah. You're welcome. All right. Then from Miss Accursio's class with over 50 points getting their keychain this morning, an average of 91%, Jiha Choi. Great job, Jiha. Good job. From Miss Dunn and Miss Mumford, I should have warned you, we have a bunch of kids this morning. <laughs> From Ms. Dunn and Ms. Mumford's class with over 50 points, an average of 87%, Sawyer Steen. I love all these readers. There you go, Sawyer. Come over here and turn around and smile. There you go. All right, our next one is from Ms. Hall's class with over 50 points, an average of 81%, Grant South. Great job. You got your Gilcrest, you got grill, Gilcrest shoes on. Love it. All right, our next one is from Ms. Hall's class with over 50 points, an average of 87%, Jake Summers. Awesome. From Ms. Newland's class with over 50 points, an average of 91%, Adley Lotta. Did I say it right? Did I say your name right? Good. All right, our next one is from Ms. Newland's class with over 50 points, an average of 93%, Addison Middlebrooks. Great job, other hand. There you go. Good job, Addison. All right, from Miss Newland's class with over 50 points and an average of 94%, Isabella Weldon. Oh, you got your Gilchrist outfit on. Oh, that's going to match your outfit. Cute. All right, then we have from Miss Self's class with over 100 points, getting his blue ribbon. It's hard to see. It's invisible <laughs> blue ribbon here with an average of 94%, Jude Carson. Yes, Jude Carson. How much did Jude help? There you go, Jude. Way to go. All right, that was our first graders. Now we're moving on to our second graders. All right, from Ms. Wil uh, Ms. Ms. Beck's class with over 25 points, an average of 85%, Grayer Wilkinson. Great job. Come over here, Grayer, where we can see your face. Over there, there you go. There's your bracelet. All right. Beck is the, um, Miss Beck's class has like half her class on this, this week. All right, from Miss Ayat and Miss Riley's class with over 80, uh, 25 points and 84% comprehension, Yogita Nurmakumar. Good job, Yogita. All right, from Miss Spicer's class with over 25 points and average of 80%, Isaac Childers. Great job. Isaac, where's that smile? Nah, too shy. All right. From Miss Anderson's class with over 50 points, an average of 93%, Henry Wynn. Great job, Henry. <laughs> All right, Miss Barino's class with over 25, uh, 50 points, an average of 83%, Zari Williams. Great job. From Miss Beck's class with over 50 points, hello, we have. Mr. Rajab Sharathodi. Good job, Rajab, Rajab, with 93% comprehension. Good job, Rajab. I thought this can glow. No, no, it doesn't glow, but it's still fun. All right, from Ms. Beck's class, with over 50 points, an average of 91%, Isaiah Ford Green. Great job, Isaiah. There's that smile. All right, Ms. Beck's class again, with over 50 points, average of 81%, Lily McElro McElroy. Great job. Another one for Ms. Beck's class with over 50 points, an average of 87%, Avery Rush. Good job. And guess whose class this one's from? Ms. Beck's class with over 50 points, an average of 81%, Sam Shelton. Great job, Sam. Good job. Come bring your little floating head over here and smile. There you go. All right, now you can go. All right, did RJ get here? Yes, he did. From Ms. Bowers' class with over 50 points, an average of 80%, RJ Ballard. Good job, good job. 
All right, from Miss Spicer's class with over 50 points, an average of 91%, Asher Hall. Look at that smile. There you go. All right, there's your keychain. Then we have another one from Ms. Beck's class. This one has 100, over 100 points, an average of 91%, Edward Gelhart. Great job, Edward. Come over here. Smile. There's your blue ribbon. All right, and from Ms. Bower's class, a second grader with over 200 points with a comprehension average of 95%. That is fabulous. Ella Gray Nunnally. Great job, Ella Gray. There is your cup. Enjoy that. Oh, wow, that was exhausting, all those exciting superhero reader names. I will see you tomorrow. I do look forward to seeing everyone at our AR celebration that is tomorrow as well. See you then. Checking our Grizzly Weather Station, we have a current temperature of 40 degrees and a projected high of 61 degrees. There is a 0% chance for rain. It is now back to our anchors. Our salt for today is from female pilot Amelia Earhart. The most effective way to do it is to do it. Please join us again tomorrow for another edition of Grizzly AM. Have a great day!